Hello, I'm Melanie, the midwife, and today's report on the research is on a beautiful piece of research by Jill Thompson and Sue Down, and it's called A Hero's Tale of Childbirth. And this research looks at the experiences of 12 women who've had a self-defined traumatic birth and then subsequently moved on to positive birth experiences. I came across this piece of research when I was looking into transformative birth experiences. And this paper describes how women can move from feeling traumatized by one birth and then heroically owning a positive birth experience for their next birth. Now, it's a qualitative study. So rather than needing huge numbers of women to make meaningful findings, uh, in qualitative research, the researchers explore statistically immeasurable things. And in this instance, the researchers are looking at the quality of these women's birth experiences and presenting their findings in a really rich and descriptive way. And for women, this research can provide insight into how to move from having had a traumatic birth and then go on to having a positive birth next time. So let's have a look at how the study was done and how women move from a traumatic experience uh, to a joyful birth experience. Now, the researchers aimed to explore the meanings attached to a positive and negative birth experience in order to understand how women experience and internalize a positive birth following a traumatic birth. And what they found was, is that across all the women's birth stories, there was a consistent narrative that emerged of heroic journey of adversity and despair, and then of how um, through courage and determination and support, women went on to experience the elation of a joyful positive birth. And in order to explain their findings, the authors of this study tell a story, much like a movie maker or a play writer. And it's a story of the hero's journey, of the woman's journey through hardship. And they see that the women are presented with challenges and then they take us all the way through to where these women emerge victorious as the hero of their story. And this is the story of a woman who once felt trauma as a result of childbirth and now having faced this demon again, emerges victorious as the hero and redeemed herself from a previous traumatic birth to now associating birth with a sense of joy and pride and triumph. And the journey starts with a woman sitting in the real world pain of traumatic birth. And then it ends with this same woman in a divine state of supernatural bliss as a result of her joyful birth. So let me take you on the hero's journey. The first stage of a hero's journey is departure. And it starts with a call to adventure where a woman must move from a familiar realm of life and into the unknown of her newly discovered pregnancy where she now must prepare for her unknown adventure. Now that the hero is committed to her quest, she must muster what the authors call supernatural aids. And these are something designed to develop the hero's potential to triumph in the journey she's about to embark on. And these supernatural aids represent what women did to prepare for their adventure. And it included self-directed preparation in the form of education and self-care and also choosing their particular care provider. Now, the woman meets her first threshold. If she is to experience a joyful birth, she must cross this threshold. However, in order to cross it, she must overcome the threshold guardians. And the authors report that across all the 12 women's stories, the threshold guardians were viewed as the care provided by certain maternity care professionals. And in this instance, abnormality, risk, and medically determined parameters of progress determined the boundaries of childbirth. And the woman's labor was governed by a population rather than an individual approach. And it was managed with technology and clinical procedures. And these conditions provided the basis by which the threshold guardians maintained and controlled a woman's woman's experience. So in the hero's tale, a positive, joyful birth experience is on the other side of the threshold. Therefore, the woman is required to overcome the guardians to take hold of her heroic journey. 
In a hero's tale, the hero must move through a low point, the low point of traumatic birth experience, muster their courage and face the inner torment in order to reclaim their childbearing journey as they cross the threshold into a path of initiation. This initiation is the next stage in a hero's journey. So what we can already see from this study is that if a woman is to come back from a traumatic birth, she must muster her courage, gather to gather herself some supernatural aids for her journey, prepare to overcome the threshold guardians, and prepare to traverse a road of trials ahead of her. On this road of trials, the woman draws upon her aid, the aid of her helpers, and she must also discover some of her own inner power in order to support her passage. The participants in this study who went on to experience a joyful birth explained how they specifically prepared for their journey by improving their cognitive, physical and mental well-being. So what they said was is that it took work and effort. And on their journey, the women met with threshold guardians, trials and the unknown. But armed with their preparation and supernatural helpers, they achieved triumph over their trauma and emerged in a victorious state of joy and elation about how their subsequent birth unfolded. And then as they returned to their everyday normal world on the other side of this adventure, they were a transformed hero. Now the authors explain that joy is an attainable outcome for birth. And they said that the focus on pathology and maternity care has meant that there's limited understanding of childbirth related euphoria and joy and when positive outcomes are explored in research they're usually limited to measuring satisfaction but the concepts explored in this paper suggest that a joyful as opposed to simply satisfying birth is something that is achieved through working through adversity and engaging fully with the unknown and unknowable nature of childbirth. And now the authors suggest that the narratives of joyful achievement should be the norm for all women. So here is to being rid of just a satisfactory birth for all women and welcoming in the expectation of a joyful birth for all women. I'm Melanie the Midwife, and if you found this helpful, pass it on.